Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a Cat Pictures 2 CTFs, uh, the walkthroughs. And um, I really excited for this video because I just am um, getting all flex five minutes ago. And um, now guys, I just want to be recording this video because this CTF is not easy, difficult. It's really, really hard really complicated for privilege escalation for example so now I'm just gonna be show you guys how can we um, this whole this CTFs intelligently and I want to be explained details all of things here so okay the first one we just have to be deploy or virtual machine and go for task to hack this IP address which machine is used this IP addresses here so the first one, we just have to be gathering information about this IP address. Go or Cal Linux terminal and starting here and map scan for this IP address because we just have to be now abiding some information about the port and which protocol is which port is running on the server. And the second one, we just have to be go this if there's an AD port is open. So I'm just gonna be go here. It's giving an Lashi albums. So there's an, some cat's image here. So now I wanna be show you guys. We just have to be for first flag and uh, working with image file directly. So, okay. The another thing is I think we just have to be doing here the Globuster scan, but it's giving us nothing. Trust me. Um, we just have to be capturing the first flag to here. So how can we getting first flag intelligently? The first one you just have to be doing here, guys. So, um, right. Is there any problem? Because there is a no going to be showing that. No. Okay. If you are opening here the image, the cat image. For example, if you can say here about photo. The first one I just want to be show you guys. So this is really complicated, but just don't worry. I'm going to be show you. There is an image file, right? This is cat's image. For example, if you can collect this image and say here about this image file, it's giving us the here description, not not the self strip metadata, but there is an image size is 7.1 megabytes. But if you're looking the another other cat image is over here, there is a description is null and the size here is just 600 kilobytes. So what does it mean? That means our this cat image has a maybe has a some um, different file on into the it and we just have to be look at it with access tool citrings or different things to here. So you just have to be click here save image as and then install on your machine and go here to doublons and say here access tool and then f5 this there is a some blah 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 and gpq file that means are this uh, cat image here so why we are doing it because there is an um, description is not now for this cat image and there's an f uh, 7.1 megabyte to this image file so we are generally using access tool gathering, gathering location, but it's giving us some important idea for it. So I'm just going to be enter it. There's an, um, giving some important, uh, information about this image file. If you can check it here, there's an tidal tabs is giving an 8080 port and some txt file is already working here. So now we just have to be go there on or IP address. So. That's really cool guys. We just have to be go here and say enter. Now that's really fine. Because there is an AD80 port is generally open here, if you can check it. And it's giving us the sum not for us, not the self. I set up internal GTA instance for start using IAC for the server. It says quite basic states, but I'm putting the password here because I will definitely forget. This file is easy and easy to find anyway unless you have to be correct URL. So you just have to be go for GTA on port 3000. So I'm just going to be copy or IP address and then go here 3000 port number. It's giving us the GTA web server to here. And then if you check it here, it's giving us to here actually uh, there's an um, username and password for GTA sign-in. So go here for sign-in 
and for username say samarium and for password give this and then sign in so it's giving us this samarium this detail patch here directly so now it's time to be working this so if you can check it here the samarium there's an, some ansible uh, file or ansible project or repositories i don't know i have no idea about this if you can check here there's an um, first flag you getting correctly guys there's an um, first flag i don't want to be use this flag guys because i want to be uh, i actually be when i am doing here uh, uploading or uh, adding here this uh, write types is over here so that means there's a just flag one txt so now there is um, some important things for us the playbook email so there's a git ignore this is um, ignore this and uh, ignore this and ignore this this is um, giving some the updated playbook email file so i have no idea about the email file but before to solve the ctf i'm just going to be asking this the chat gpt say here how can so i'm going to be using gpt4 how can i um work with yaml file so it's giving us how can we're actually using the yaml file correctly to here um no pml so there is not pml it's um uh, playbook dot email file how can I work with this so if you can check in here or ask your questions uh, for um, the chat chip it's giving us how can we're actually using the email file correctly so email files generally using for other things and reading or um, the creating something or for or target machine so this is really important guys if you can check it here notes one more time and Zibble runner on elevation and elevation is working on port number in 1337 so we just have to be go here 3037 and I say there's an you know some any things we just have to be go here and you can check it chat GPT we are running this Ansible playbook if you can check it here all I have seen there is an Ansible playbook is already here so that's really fine now we can actually editing this file and then run this Ansible playbook here because we are asking chat GPT before so now we can get in, gathering some information about it so it's really cool so you just have to be GTA go GTA one more time and see here added file there's an a command tab if you can check it you just have to be changed command file for example I'm gonna give you guys some Linux um, Linux command to here and go here playbook email and say enter and go here all I've team and run Ansible playbook if it's giving us success that's really cool so we just have to be waiting for it now okay so it's fine that's fine all right that's success now we get something about it you just have to be go here logs and then click here ct dot it's giving us flag to txt already here guys it's really cool and the another things we are gathering here the important things or victim machines name is bismuth you can check it like here so if you want to be reading flag to txt you just have to be added this file one more time and say here correctly cat flag to txt and go here playbook email and say enter go here to actions run ansible playbook here and then uh, it's just waiting for it if it's success yes the success there's an um, your second flag is correctly guys so that's really fine now if you can check it ls la ls dash la the result to here with shitty the old it's giving here if you can check it the all of things to here it's giving it ssh file to here dot ssh what does it mean if there is an id rsi file we can get in reverse shell with this id rsi that's right but 
I will be show you guys. YAML file, you cannot go to any directory or the another go back or go up for directory. It's not gonna be working. You just have to be reading this file and creating this file to here. For example, I'm gonna be show you, don't worry about it. Uh, if you can check here, cool. For example, if you can say cd.ssh, it's not gonna be working because YAML file is just gonna be creating and editing. I'm just gonna be show you if you go actions and say here run uh, playbook ansible playbook to here it's giving an exit code to that means our bro it's not gonna be working so now we just have to be editing this file for reading the cat id rsi to here you just have to be go there and say cat and um, dot ssh and say here id under dash rsa and say here enter go there actions one more time and run ansible playbook to here if it's giving a success yes it's giving a success we got an idea rsi for bismuth so go logs and there's an amp or rsi id rsi file is already here i'm just gonna be copy this guy but if you're checking here there's an amp some quotation mark we just have to be this quotation mark to deleting um, I don't want to be using manually, so I'm just gonna be give here the for chat GPT. Can you delete um, quotation mark quotation mark and give me ID errors A? So it's giving an ID errors A correctly to here. You can chat copy this on this uh, on this um actual to here or with we, we, uh, you just have to be copy what chat gpt is give you to give to you so i got it before so i'm just gonna go here idea side generation to i got the before guy don't don't worry about it um you just i'm just gonna be uh copy this if you can check it there is giving us already here to idea rsi but i got it before and uh, i just want to be copy what we we're doing before i'm just gonna be copy here and say here not downloads i'm just gonna be go to documents and cats i got it before this file you know there's an amputee say here sublim tax and id under dash rsa no cancel no there's no limpus id rsi cancel so that's really fine all right cgn we got in cgn to here guy and um, what is cgn and then uh, now CG and after NQR. So not CG yet. Uh, I just have to be copy this and there's an M some E and E actually working with there. You can actually what? What? Dash E starting with this copy this and then paste here that's correct and now time to be copy all of this value for ID RSI to here okay guy so that's fine so I'm just gonna be control save it now if you're now, how can we are actually working with ID RSI to here? This is really co not complicated. This is too easy. The first one, you just have to be looking for if there's an any ID RSI password, you just have to be crack it. But the, before do this, you just have to be transferring the ID RSI to SSH to John and ID RSI to ID RSI hash and then crack this hash. But this is really good news to us because ID RSI has no password for this. So it's really easy to us. We just have to be using here search mode 600 and ID RSI and then using here SSH dash I ID RSI. You know our victim is bismuth and say here add and give this IP address correctly. Don't worry and uh, don't forget about it and say here yes. Now guy, we getting shot for bismuth, so it's really fine. Okay. Now you can you just have to be go here and um, I'm just gonna be go to the CD not CDTMP. The first one for 
privilege escalation we are generally using sudo dash l but we have no idea about the bismuth password so that means our scan is not gonna be working the another things we just have to be doing here find dash perm and dash uh, u equal to s and 2 is larger than developer null so that's fine it's giving us some the binder file what we're actually using for privilege escalation in gift of bins gift of binary so let me go here so if you can check it here your result there is no actually to important file to us so that means that we can actually working with find dash perm dash u equal to s and two larger than developer and null. So the most important things to privilege escalation, you just have to be trying here line enum dot shell and line piece dot shell. But how can we actually work with them? So you just have to be go here cdtmp. You know there's an mpt and say here go cd op file if you can check it here line item dash shell and limp piece dash shell is here so you just have to be starting here um, to on opt file python 3 dash and http server because we are have to be uh, transferred the file so i'm just gonna give here the guys widget http and give your ip address i'm just gonna give my ip address stand out eight dot uh, 72 and 200 now like that and fuck 270 and I'm um, 800 no 8000 to here and the first of all I want to be used line anim dash shell to here you know there's a line anim dash shell you just have to be executed sage mode plus x and line anim dash shell and then bash line anim dash shell to here now we are starting the analyzing for any privilege escalation uh, file or something like that to here. The line is giving us correctly. Don't worry about it. If, if it's not going to be working, we are using limpis.shell. Don't worry about it. Okay, it's giving us, it looks like we are hosting Docker and giving here the Docker image uh, image number, but I were generally using this Docker like 15 or 20 minutes, but Docker is not gonna be working here. And maybe um, this is my fault because the Docker is not gonna be working, trust me. You just have to be trying here limpis.shell because lineanim.shell is giving us nothing. I'm just gonna be give here guy a widget HTTP and then say here that I'm gonna be for yes to here and then change this with limpis dot shell all right now it's time to be you know there's an limpis dot shell executed limpis dot shell with using sage mode 600 limpis dot shell and um, run this all right now it's gonna be Analyzing for us which file are gonna be working with this privilege for privilege escalation guys So it's gonna be taking a time We just have to be waiting for it, you know, we got in the flag one and flag two correctly now It's time to be flag three with privilege escalation Plah! This is really hard, hard, hard. This is a really hard CTF guy. Trust me, it's not gonna be easy. This is giving us difficulty is it here, but it's not gonna be easy. Okay. Um. It's gonna be giving us some CVE number or something like that. Okay, let me check it. CVE. Yes, it's giving us some CVE number. We just have to be working. Um, 
you, if you are analyzing or limpies dust shell to here, this is actual to here, guys. The try hack me room we got like before, if you remember. You just have to be go here. I'm just gonna be clear all of things to here and go there, blast this CVE. All right, there's an CVE 2021 331 556 to here. You just have to be installed this or victim machine and run this for privilege escalation. So this is I know this is this is too this uh, could be too easy, but I actually using this all of things to here, but it's not gonna be working. And but this CVE number is working for us. You just have to be copy this, and then I actually wanna be show you guys. There's a not you just you cannot get clone on or victim machine. So. Controller C to here and say git clone and give here what we are actually copied this and then you know there's an MCVE file where is that so there's an M so go here to CVE so there's an M some file we just have to be transferred this file manually and um, Python 3 dash M HTTP server for transfer the file and go here for TMP and say make dear to here CVE dash twenty twenty one dash thirty one fifty six. Now, God, no, remove dash or CVE meter fifty six. Yes, now time to go. CVE, there's you know, there's an amputee, there's nothing, you just have to be. Um, transfer the file to here manually, guy widget HTTP and um, say here 10.8.72. and 270 and say here 80,000 port and the first one you just have to be transfer brute shell to here so that will be fine it's okay so let me deleting it and um, hacks.c alright let me try okay it's gonna be working so time to be live that C right yes copy this and um, transfer this file uh, and um, um, say here make file the most important two things to here paste this and um, the last one is equal to read me file to here so that's really correct okay so okay now we getting here now it's time to be working with this number but how can we actually work with this bruta shell hexas in lip this uh, you know there's a make file if you're checking here the make file you just have to be uh, run this here make so uh, waiting for it so it's giving us uh, some important shell file to here yes we got into here sudo hacks me dash a dash sandwich file is already here but how can we actually working this file? You just have to be run this sudo hacks me dash a dash sandwich. It's giving us available targets to here. There, you know, there's a we are using some on Ubuntu, but we just have to be looking on this. You just have to be give here unm dash a. Nope, unm dash a. Yes, that's correct. So it's giving out Linus cat pictures dash ii, and then we are using Ubuntu to here and this ubuntu version is actually equal this so now we just have to be doing last one to here guy run this program one more time and then give here or target or target equal to ubuntu to here binoc beaver for using sudo so i'm just gonna be give here zero and if you are press enter now you are root guys you got in full edge escalation to here for example, I'm gonna I'm just gonna give you guys who am I? We are root now. If you go here to root directory, it's giving us the flag three txt is over here. Now guy, it is and this is end of the video. I'm really appreciated. Uh, watch watch my video to YouTube guy and um, I'm really excited about the CTR, but we got all flags together correctly and intelligently. Thanks for watching.